Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a smart form PDF as an email and as a part of that, we finished with the first two steps. We get the binary file of the smart form and that file is in Xstring format. We converted the file from Xstring format to the binary format. Now we will come on to the classes because now we have the contents. Now we have the contents into this internal table, into this internal table, which we want to send as an email. Now we need to focus on the classes now, classes. Now we will firstly, firstly go for the first step. Now, whenever you want to send a email, you are always, always clicking on to which button? Compose button. You are composing a mail. So it means in terms of SAP, firstly, we are creating a send request. We are firstly creating a request. Then we will send. And we already covered whenever you want to create the send request, we will make use of which particular class CL underscore BCS. So I will go for this particular class. Now I will go for SC24 transaction code because you know very well SC24 is the transaction code for the global classes. I will put the name of the class. I will go for display. Now you can see we have so many methods into this particular class and this is already covered topic as a part of object oriented programming. Whenever you want to see the global classes, SC24 is the transaction code. You can see we have so many methods some are instance method, some are static method. Now, firstly, we need to create a send request. Now, we need to use the method. Which method we need to use to create a send request? If you see, we have a method create underscore persistent. It is which method? Static method. It is public. Yes, if it is public, yes, we can use in our program. And the description is clearly saying you are creating a persistent send request. So we will use this particular method to create the send request. Now just see this method is of which which type which type static method so whenever you have a static method is there any need for the object is there any need to create the object no whenever you are going for instance method at that time we are de declaring the object we are creating the object if you remember, we use the syntax create object, object name. Now, our method is a static method. So there's no need for the object. So we will simply, simply call this method with the help of this particular class. So now I will go for this program. So our first step is over. We got the binary file. We converted the binary file from X string format to binary format. Now we will go for next step. But a third step, create a request, create a send request. So I will simply go to pattern. How you can call the class methods? Go for a BAP object patterns. Now you can give the name of the class. There's no instance as of now. 
because we are not going for object is it is a static method we are calling we are calling directly through the class itself because it is a static method so we will simply simply give the name of the class cl underscore bcs and now i will go for f for help of the methods and you can see we are getting all the methods and we need to choose which particular method create underscore persistent which is used to create a send request i will go for okay and you can see we got this particular thing i will simply simply uncomment now this method is returning one parameter you can double click and check if i will double click here on create underscore persistent yes we have a parameter if i will double click you can simply see this path this method create underscore persistence has a returning parameter and which is of which particular thing have you seen it is written type ref to cl underscore bcs so with the help of this method this method is returning returning what this method is returning a result which is which which is referring to which particular class cl underscore bcs you all know very well whenever you are using type ref2 it means it is a object so whenever you are using this method we are getting what we are getting a object it is returning the object of this particular class so how i will write i will simply simply go to my program and now i will declare one object if i will declare the object i am writing data Hello underscore BCS type ref to CL underscore BCS. Now I will simply simply write in front of this result what I will write Hello underscore BCS. Now you can understand in this way also. The type of LO underscore BCS is same as that of result. What is the type of result? Just double click and check the type of result. What is the type of result? Result is type ref to this particular class. Result is referring to this particular class. And have you seen what is the object LO underscore BCS is also referring to this particular class. So both have same to same, same to same. This is what we are always, always covering. There should not be any type mismatch. So have you seen when I called the method create underscore persistent of cl underscore bcs class and i have not called through object it is a static method so i directly pass the class name and have you seen equal to and this greater than symbol is coming why it is coming because we all know it is the identification for the static method static method once we call the method create underscore persistent it is returning a object and what is the object it is referring to which particular class ultimately our cl underscore bcs class important part and yes we must require knowledge of a bad object oriented programming 
at least for instance and static methods the knowledge is required so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we went or we covered our next step what is the next step our next step is to create the request first because whenever you are drafting a mail the firstly you are clicking on to compose button it means you are requesting for the mail the same thing is here we are creating the send request whenever we want to create the send request we will go for cl underscore bcs class sc24 is the transaction code to check the classes and in this class we have the method create underscore persistent we simply simply call this method but without object because it is which method static method so we simply call the method through the pattern button and we are getting one returning one returning and returning result is of which type it is referring to this class itself so we simply declared one object which is referring to the class because we all know whenever there is type ref to it means it is the object at that point of time and equal to and greater than symbol means we called which particular method we called the static method. So that's it in this particular video. In the next video, we will move on to next steps. Thank you.